بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الحبت في الله امام بن عبد محمد بن عبد الوهاب رحمه الله تعالى in his treaties al usul al thalatha he after mentioning the four qaid al arba or the uh, the four masail and we mentioned that they were ilm and practicing that knowledge and preaching that knowledge as well as being patient upon the path of knowledge and preaching that knowledge then he goes to the essence of his treatise which is the thalatha usul the three fundamental principles and he began by saying فإذا قيل لك ما الأصول الثلاثة التي يجب على الإنسان معرفتها فقول معرفة العبد رب ربه ودينه ونبيه محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. This is the essence right here that every Muslim needs to know. So he said, if you are asked regarding the three fundamental principles which every Muslim should know, you should reply that the slave knows his Lord, his religion, and his Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. That is, that's what every Muslim must know. Every Muslim doesn't have to know whether to make takfir of someone. Every Muslim doesn't have to know whether someone is an innovator or not. That is not the usul there. That is from the religion. But that is not for every Muslim to get into those affairs. Every Muslim doesn't have to know, uh, to, you know the status of the leaders, whether I need to make takfir of them or not. Every Muslim doesn't know. Every Muslim needs to know these questions which they will be asked in the grave as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that the the slave would be asked man rabbuk ma dinak wa man nabiyak that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you will be asked who is your lord and who is your prophet who did you follow in this in this life and what is your religion those things you'll be asked in the grave and in accordance with your answer in the grave that will determine whether that is a place of comfort or a place of displeasure and pain and misery and torture wa'iyadhan billah min dhalika so now as the salaf used to say this do, uh, 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 that the dunya is a place of deeds. So now is the time to get your aqidah straight. Now is the time to work on yourself and to practice those good manners and practice your religion, uh, praying five times a day, paying the zakat, uh, making the pilgrimage if you're able to do so. All of those aspects of Islam, this is the time for that. And that is the essential, that is the usul that every Muslim should know. As Imam Muhammad said, which every Muslim should know, you should reply. So if you are asked regarding the three fundamental principles, which every Muslim should know, you should reply that the slave knows his Lord, his religion, and his Prophet ﷺ. And this was also, because these are the questions of the grave, this is also what, in the beginning of the treaties, when the Imam mentioned about ilm, he said, فعلم, and, uh, he said, he said that it's an obligation upon us to learn four things. And then he said the first thing is the ilm. It's knowledge. And then he explained that knowledge. And then he said, And that it is knowing Allah. And knowing his uh, messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. What is that right there? That's that thalatha usul that we've come to. That right there is the fundamentals that every Muslim must know. Every Muslim, Muslim must know uh, what, how uh, the rulings and the something have some understanding of the evidences for practicing the basis of the religion, how to pray. 
how to purify themselves. Uh, the aspects of Tawheed. They must know. Every Muslim needs to know who Allah is and how to worship Him properly. Because if you don't know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, how can you worship Him properly? Because perhaps you will think Allah is uh, a man. Or you will think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came in the form of a man. Or you'll think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, is uh, many gods or what, whatever. That's because those people don't know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are those people who have the testimony of faith in India, in Egypt, in many, many countries, in the Muslim and non-Muslim lands, but especially in the Muslim lands. People who say, La ilaha illallah, wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah, but they don't know the meaning at all. And in fact, they negate that meaning through their practices. There are some of our brothers and sisters because knowledge has not really come to them in remote villages in India and stuff. And they've mixed with the Hindus to such an extent that their belief is barely, it resembles the Hindus' belief almost in entirely because they didn't know. They don't know what true Islam is. They don't know what true Tawheed is. Man Rabbuk, who is your Lord? Madinik, what is your religion? Woman Nabiik, and who is your prophet? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then he said the first uh, fundamental principle Al Al Asl al Awa Marafita Rabb, Fida Kilak, Men Rabbuk, Fuku Rabbi Allah Ladi Rabbani Rabbi Rabbi Jimmy Al Alameen bin Amiti bi Namihi bi Namihi. Wuhua Mahbudi Laysa Li Mahbud Siwa. What did Il Kolo uh Kolohu Ta'ala Alhamdulillah Hirabil Alameen? So then he said, if you are asked, who is your Lord? You should reply, my Lord is Allah, the one who nurtured me and all that exists with his bounties. He is my Lord. I have no deity other than him that I worship. The evidence for this is the saying of Allah, which means, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praises uh, and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of, of all that exists. So in Surah Al-Fatiha, we are supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are bearing witness that we give all of our thanks and all of our praise to the Lord of everything. Uh, the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who created everything and he's the Lord of everything that exists because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created it and everything uh, and everyone should rightfully worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's Tawheed. That's Tawheed. And then he said, uh, uh, and, and he said, you know, because this was almost, uh, th this was posed in a question. Um, uh, so if you are asked, who is your Lord? You should reply, my Lord is Allah, the one who nurtured me and all that exists with his bounties. He is my God, or he is the one I worship. I have no deity other than him. The evidence for this is the saying of Allah, which means all praises and thanks belong to Allah, the Lord of the of all, all that exists. All that exists except Allah is the alam. And I am one of the alameen. All that exists except Allah is a part of this creation. And I am one of those created beings. I'm just one. From those beings. So this is what Sheikh uh, Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab rahimahullah ta'ala was saying in regard uh, regarding to this, uh, uh, the rububiyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he said, if you are asked, how have you come to know your Lord? He should reply through his signs and his creation, such as the day and the night, the sun and the moon, and the seven layers of the heaven and the seven layers of earth. So we'll continue with that in the next sitting. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.